and little arm. A small leg. <coughs> and another little oh, arm. Another small leg. Oh, look, only the head is left. Martha is a psychopath. <coughs> <coughs> I was under the bridge, but but it was just a game. This, however, is not a game. I was just playing. It's just a bad joke. Under the bridge, the church, the town, speak, the white lady. dazed out of reality there. Anyways, <coughs> so yeah, I do understand though it's not 100% completion, mostly because there was a lot of bullshit. Not so much I fucked up quite a bit actually in my playthrough, um, since I already saw the end of this, I kind of know what I fucked up on. since we could have helped uh, the rebels and shit uh, there was a whole the power fortress is back. That we could now do. I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered uh, there's like a oh god I thought the game was about to crash um, there's a whole ass bunker over there in the ocean or the lake but uh, yeah like I said we we I, I fucked up I, I'm gonna own that Anyways, let's go develop those photos. That one's the correcty one. Let's develop this one.
I will return to you, Martha. Together we will sort out everything. Just you and I. Dear God, so it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. Maybe I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. It was not easy to pull that trigger, but I did. Once again, though, I was not dead. There was only one they all died here. in the blink Take of an eye, like as if it were the most natural thing in the world. But for me, it seemed impossible. When I fired, I unintentionally moved the weapon enough that the bullet deviated and hit my eyebrow. I was bleeding and there was a great pain above my eye. The voices grew distant, but nothing more. I fainted and then regained consciousness not long after. I woke up tied to a seat so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. He was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. <coughs> They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches... I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, all it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. Then he ordered my father to be executed. It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. Then I took a blow harder than the previous ones and I lost consciousness again. I woke up again on the ground, untied and completely empty inside. 
All I could feel was pain. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. So just... The soldiers did it. They fucked it all up. They fucked me up. Fuck these soldiers. The war crimes of the Allies. Oh, fuck it. I'm just kidding. Jesus. Nazi fuckers. <laughs> now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up, and I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check that you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. <coughs> what is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. <coughs> I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up. Don't speak. Don't say anything else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then... I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. Oh my God. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theatre in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Alright, real quick. 